Hey everyone, Dogmatic71 here and welcome to Dogmatic DIY. Do you have a workshop or a garage or just a room where you have your normal standard light bulb, right? And it's just not enough light. Well, I used to have this in my garage workshop, so I ended up buying years ago, a few years ago, fluorescence. Well, with fluorescence, it take up a lot more room. Plus, I got that constant humming noise. Well, I'm going to show you by adding this. Same little, just to your normal light bulb area. The difference, what this will do, plus it has rotating arms. So you can shine it on certain areas. I'm going to show you the difference. So if you want this. I will leave the link in the description below. I'll try to find it for both Canada, US, and say the UK. See if I can find this exact light that I'm reviewing if you want to call it a review. So let's get to it. So I went on Amazon and I started looking at some lighting and I came across as this thing is by Seshu C-E-S-H-U I'm not sure the name of actually the product as on the box you noticed uh, what's that say deformable white light doesn't even have too much of a name according onto the box but what I noticed is it has 4,500 lumens and it only uses watt based off of 45 watts either. So it's based off of 45 watt bulb the usage wise. So let's what we're gonna do here is I pulled it out of the box as you can see. So this is where it, how it comes. It has a little cap here. So just screws in just like your normal light bulb. See? So compare the two, same thing. The difference is here is I'll try to do this with one hand. These lights fold, see? So not only do you get all that light coverage there, you can if you have a spot where you want to angle it, so you can put it like that. Okay? You don't have to have it all open. You can have, it doesn't go sideways, it just goes up, open and close, right? So it doesn't twist this way clockwise or counterclockwise at all. So you're limited to what you can do, but the fact that you can angle one of these to an area in your workshop or wherever you're using it, and this will give you light shined at that particular spot. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to turn off all my other lights. I'm going to show you how bright it is in here with this bulb and then how bright it is in here with this bulb. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so now let me turn off all my other lights and you'll see how actual bright it is in here. So if that's my only bulb, my garage lights off, all my fluorescents are off. This is how bright my garage is. Okay, so let's go up. And you can see, that's it. So what I'm gonna do is, let me actually, Turn on some lights here. So, because as soon as I unscrew that, <laughs> it will be a little dark in here. So, now what we'll do is let's unscrew this bulb. And then we'll take this bulb here. Try 
I'm going to do this on a ladder. Stand. Oh. And you can see how bright it is. Now, see what I mean by angling it to a certain location. Right? Sorry about the brightness there. But now, shut everything off and you'll see the difference here. See how bright it is now. See? Like obviously under here because I'm I'm kind of blocked off from that light. It's not as bright. But you can see how, how much brighter it is compared to what it was with the old one. So the cool thing is if I didn't have this area here blocked off from that, my whole garage would be bright. Imagine if you had two of these, if you have like, I have a garage at my cottage that doesn't have an attic space or whatever. I put two of those in my whole garage is going to be super bright, way brighter than say adding these things, fluorescence. You don't get the humming noise constantly. And based off of what they say here, based off of three hours a day for 10 years. So if you average three hours a day that this thing's on, it'll last for 10 years. Well, a lot of people's garages, they're not, have the light, they don't have the light on three hours every day. Like if I'm in here doing stuff, sure, I'll have it on for three hours or more that one day, but I'm not in here three hours every day. Usually during the week I'm at, at work, so if I turn it on, it might be for five minutes or 10 minutes here and there. I go, but uh, for the price, what I'll do is I'll try to find the links for for each one I'll put the link for the one in from I got it from Canada I'll see if I can find the amazon.com one uh, and even the, the Amazon UK one I'll see if I can find the link for this light um, as I highly recommend it uh, I gave it to my father-in-law for Christmas for his garage and he couldn't believe it he has probably six uh, fluorescent lights and he had them all off and this was brighter than all six of his, his lights throughout his garage um, for the price I paid I'll even uh, you'll be able to see it on the links you know it's definitely worth uh, like it comes goes on sale quite a bit so I think I got mine on sale for like 25 bucks and it's so worth it worth it you know based on if it, well, can't see it lasting 10 years but even if it lasts even half that it's definitely worth the money so if you get any questions leave in the comment section below Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified when I post another video. And we'll talk to you later.